Hi, my name is Gabby Rozovsky, and I am class of 2023. Hi, I'm Natalie Macon. I am an assistant professor in biomedical engineering. Hello there, my name is Josh, and I am a senior pursuing a double major in computer engineering and computer science. Hi, my name is Sam, and I'm a senior studying electrical and computer engineering. Hello, my name is Philip Brown, and I'm an assistant teaching professor here at the School of Engineering at Rutgers. Hello, my name is Dr. Edward DeMauro. I am a, an assistant professor for the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at Rutgers University. At the beginning of online classes, I was nervous. I mean, who wasn't? It was only my second semester at Rutgers, and I hadn't even taken an online course before. I had no idea what to expect. But the first thing that our professor said to us that honestly calmed me down was that they were going to do whatever it took to transfer the support available on campus to online learning. And I can say that they really did. One example of a simulated lab test done at home as a team was the four point bend test. That is a test normally used in the BME labs to characterize a bone plate, a simulated bone, and the plate and the bone together. So what I asked the students to do was use stuff that they could find at home pretty easily and create step by step a duplicate of the four point bend test. Film it, narrate it, and turn it in as a lab report assignment and I think that worked out pretty well. One thing that we're doing to try to improve online learning uh, during the fall semester is to take advantage of all of the learning assistance and teaching assistance that we have available to us. So uh, we are increasing the number of recitation sections that we have in my class and uh, in doing so we're lowering the number of students in each section and we're uh, having at least one learning assistant, teaching assistant, or faculty member myself uh, teach each of the recitation sections. In effect, that we're trying to have more time for you to talk to uh, your instructor with a smaller number of students in the section uh, during uh, each class session so that uh, hopefully we can uh, counteract the fact that uh, learning online is a little bit more difficult. What I learned about remote learning is that as long as you put in the effort, you will see the results. A lot of the resources remain the same from in-person learning to remote learning, such as going to a professor's office hours, but it's always your responsibility at the end of the day as a student to take charge of your own learning. So as long as you're willing to take that responsibility, you will be just fine in remote learning. My basic advice to the students is don't be afraid to contact us. I mean, we're kind of all in this one together. and. We have every desire to help you do the best you can as you adjust to um, the college at learning experience. I think everyone needs to try the online study group. Uh, so my friends, we set up a Discord server with a voice channel so that you could drop in and out of being by yourself or just studying with your friends at any time very easily. Uh, and that made coordinating study groups and working together a lot easier and a lot more customizable to when you needed your friends versus when you wanted to be by yourself. Ask for help. Ask your advisors, your professors, upperclassmen, even other incoming students. When you're at Rutgers, you're given this amazing network of people who are willing to help you and who just want to see you succeed. So definitely take advantage of that. One piece of advice I have for incoming students is find a way that you like to keep yourself organized because with online school comes a lot of emails and notifications and just having one centralized place where you have all of your assignments and everything you need to keep track of will just make your life so much easier.